overbearing with our slight delay, but it was worth the wait because you are watching the comic book show, which happens here at 9 p.m. PST every Wednesday, where we have gathered in all. Oh. <laughs> back to one, everybody. Back, back, to, back, one. One. back, back to, one. to one. Back to one. Oh, your microphone. It's, reset. it's on. We no, but your your. Where is it at? Where is it? Is it? But did not not work. So I'm gonna do the rough in the beginning again. Where's your mic? At? We have a Hulk. Where's your mic? Guys, we have a Hulk have joining a Hulk. us in chat. All right, uh, one yeah. more time. All right. Wait, are we still in commercial? Where's your, no. where's your mic? It, uh, that says maybe. we're still in commercial. It's I right here. Know. No, we're, we're like, not in commercial. Is... We're definitely live. Okay. Yeah, oh, where is it? Yeah, because... <laughs> That's... Oh, it's in... That... There we go. Hold no, on, all right. This is our best show ever. Everybody shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, man. Here we go, okay, here we go, here we go, okay. Welcome back to Twin Galaxies Live, where every Wednesday at 9 p.m. PST, we bring you the comic book show, which gathers Did this... anybody come on live when oh you're in? Oh, my Lord, come on, dude. Can we uh, mute Skype for the intro, please? <laughs> All right. All right. Third take. One more time. Third time's mm. the best. Welcome back to Twin Galaxies Live, where every Wednesday, 9 p.m. PST, we bring you the comic book show with this all-star cast of comic book experts. Now this show is really all about you guys and the chat that has blown up super big right in front of our faces. We're going to be pulling your comments in throughout the night. Um, and there's an interactive portion of the show if this is your first time watching. So stick around. It gets funner from here. Funner! funner. Is the word. <laughs> so much funner. No, this yes. is where we bring you all the, the fun. weeks. All the fun. But this week's comic book news, previews, Reviews and Age of Ultron trailer and, that. <laughs> and all the fun and, and, that. and, and that. the fun the fun better than vagina punch. Uh, but Hazel Hazel Malvita, no, uh, we're not gonna play Call of Duty Black Ops Two. So if it says that, sorry, you've been misled, and we'll update that. <laughs> what's happening? Uh, you should refresh, and it should say Infinite Crisis when you refresh. Yeah. I don't know what's happening, but it's making me very sad on the inside. It's like the tech and apocalypse. E-Man right Caves, I'm gonna tell you, you don't. I can. I mean, I have to. I don't want to, but wear pants. Can we, like, wear pants? <sighs> I tried not wearing pants so, one time here. Let's get through intros. We'll get right <laughs> into the show and talk about our pantslessness. Um, What's going on over there? Wow. No idea. What's happening? Minor fires are being put out. Oh, okay. Well. Like fires on miners? I'm going to introduce <laughs> the comic book experts for the night. Wow. And then we're going to get right into the show <laughs> to my, or this is my left, to my left. No, wait, I should start with me. Yes. Wow. <laughs> to my right there you go. is Jennifer Zhang, who is the head producer and uh, what's the what's the word for it? Um, programming. Bitch. Oh, yes. No. Whatever. Head of programming here at Twin Galaxies Live. Mm -hmm. uh, she is also a phenomenal singer, actress, and screenwriter, producer. She starred in her own music video. Bat suit available on YouTube now, and uh -huh. you can check out her CD on CD Baby. Oh, yeah. uh, and if that's not good enough, she also wrote and produced and starred in Batman Deathwish. Say CD Baby one more time. CD Baby. Say it like slower. CD Baby. There you go. Cross dressing. I baby. like this. I like this trend that he started. Let's do that this time. Yeah. So everyone that introduces the next person has to list some of their skills. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I'm this. glad I already I already chalked myself off. All I right. did it. Okay. To my left is Mr. Matthew Hiscock. He is the director of the viral Batman dramatic short film that's on YouTube called Batman Death Wish. His skills include prop making, having hair. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have that skill. <laughs> I got you covered. We're good. We're, good. <laughs> We're best team ever. Being handsome. Oh. Sometimes saying smart things. <laughs> Other times, not so much. Other times, calling people Sith Lords. For oh. some reason. Yeah, whatever. Yep. Are we and talking? Uh, I thought that this is what happens in San Diego. Stays in San Diego. He's Apparently also not. highly trained in ninjutsu. Okay, your turn. I did it for you. No, that way. Come on. Okay, well, this is Wes Calamer. Uh, he is the Instagram activist for TheRealStanLee.com. Uh, one of his superpowers is apparently not having hair. Am I handsome? Uh, but he's also massively overqualified for certain positions at companies like DC Comics. Oh, yeah. Who should highly consider hiring this talented individual. Go on. No, he also likes to wear sandals. I do. <laughs> Jesus sandals. And sometimes we yeah. put pictures of yeah. his feet on Facebook. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to need a mute it's on that mic happening in the Three background. hours of, of bloopers. Yeah, 
I know, this right? This is the absolute worst. My God. To my left is Mr. Benjamin Dunn. What? He's like the head of something over at Ranker.com. Administrative skills. Wait, wait, wait. Stop for a second, just in case. You guys, can we please take care of that? Hi, the 12th okay, go. bench. So to my left is Mr. Benjamin Dunn. He is the head of something over at RankerComics.com. What kind of stuff are you head of? Uh, I'm the head of microwave technology. I knew that. Wow. Uh, internet <laughs> porn watching. No, we know that. Um, his skills are uh, internet porn watching <laughs> and being Mr. Handsome Faced. And uh, he, also, um, he also has my heart. Which is the oh, big skill I have. I just kind of gave up there. I did. At the end. That's all right. Kinda gave up it's your there turn. Go ahead. Okay, if you could do that. No, no. Marissa actually wants to do the introduction for Lucas. Oh, oh. yeah. Marissa, unmute. Unmute Marissa. Hello. Can you hear me? We yes. can. Okay. And to your left, I think, is yep. on the end is Lucas Ackerman, who is... The our fearless leader over at One Million to Save Wolverine and X Men, the greatest Facebook page that ever was, oh, wow. and his hair is awesome. Aww, it's <laughs> a good hair day. His that beard makes him look show. like the devil. Yeah, that's the second <laughs> time I've heard that today. I also feel like there's been a lot of emphasis on hair, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> We're a very so. hair-driven uh, group of people. It's weird. Yeah. That's a weird statement you to make. Link right now that Guru Bot has posted so generously, and that makes you one of Lucas's loyal followers. You can help him save Wolverine and the X Men. One day, one day, that show will be brought back on air with all the original team, exactly as Lucas wanted it. Because yeah. this guy, time. this guy willed it. All right. Oh, oh ow. Sorry, I work out. Right. He can take it. We're gonna get into the very first segment of the night, which is. The Daily Planet. News sounds. <laughs> it's where we fill you guys in on all the news from the past week that's comic book related. So we're going to fill you in on everything that's happening with some of your favorite heroes and villains and all of that kind of awesome. Right now. Right now. Right now. Who right. wants to kick us off? Yeah. So I will. Go ahead. Guardians of the Galaxy is now the third highest grossing Marvel Studios film, having made over $730 million with help of it premiering in China. Guardians follows the lead of the Avengers and Iron Man 3 films, both having grossed over a billion dollars. None of that $730 million came from China because everyone over there pirated it. <laughs> Oh. Well, that's just racism. Well, the more you know about racism. Oh, that was good. That was good to say. I'm allowed to. Uh, of my own kind. <laughs> that's fair. Still racist, but fair. Uh, it was revealed that at her audition as Fish Mooney, actress Jada Pickett Smith came in full, uh, in full Fish Mooney attire with a young man on a leash with the word liar oh. written in lipstick on his forehead. Jada said, quote, forget it. Instead about talking about who Fish Mooney is, let me just show you. That's a winner right there. Mm. Do you think she had auditions for the guy to go with her to the auditions? I, I think her and Will Smith. Uh, I think it was Will Smith. <laughs> How cool would that have been? I can't wrap That's my mind weird. around her actually having a, an audition. She just yeah. seems like too big of a name. She'd be, oh, Jada Pinkett Smith and. Uh, that's interesting. Is she, though? Yes. Yeah, is she? Well, is she, though? Hey, what's your... Hey, no, no, no. Here we go, here we go. Hey, Lucas, what's your favorite role that Jada Pickett Smith has ever played? Uh, Matrix. Movie. What is it? Matrix. The girl in Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best answer! Was she in Matrix? I'm not sure! But uh, he is, kinda. I really like Jada Pinkett Smith playing all the roles of Vivica A. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know the difference between the two. I really like that she's married to Will Smith. I gotta happy. say though, the other night's episode yeah. was yeah. good. It was really good. Oh my god, the one yeah. with the venom. Which, oh by god. the way, guys, speak about Gotham. This is kind of a uh, minor aside, but it's also good news. If you guys have Xbox 360s, you can download the app Fox Now, and you can watch the entire season of Gotham for free. Mm. Whoa! So you don't have to TiVo it, you don't have to pay <laughs> for it. You can watch it for free legally. So check it out on FoxNow.com. The twelve, the twelve, the twelve branch, branch. Yep. The, yep. She played, she played Aaliyah, Aaliyah right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's right though. Didn't she take over for the role of Aaliyah when Aaliyah was supposed to be in the Matrix? Oh. Yeah. Is that a I thing? thought Aaliyah had been pulled like forever ago. Didn't she? 
I'm going to sound really uh, stupid, so just ignore me completely. Let's move on with more news. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, yeah. The Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack is so popular that it can't be contained on just compact disc, digital download, and vinyl LP. Marvel announced that Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix Volume 1 will be released on cassette tape. It had to be. Awesome. It had to be. On November awesome. 17th through Absolutely. Marvel Music Hollywood Record, a division of Disney Music Group. Amazing. This will be the first time Disney released music on a cassette since 2003. <laughs> and no one is going to be able to listen to it. Oh, my God. I am. I have one. Yeah, me too. Track, Are you guys. driving a 1999 Camry? No. That'd be funny if you, like, you know, play it and then what does it do when it, like, Oh god, what that was it? a horrible sound. What, like, what word? Yeah, describes that. No, this is, this is right. Yeah, that's what. When it unspools. Yeah. unspools. There you go. Good. You know what's I funny? I grew up in the eighties. Here's the yeah, fun. Here's the fun thing, guys. So it was announced. Eight, eight uh, tracks. Tell her, bro. It's eight tracks. Eight tracks. It was. Uh, it was an, really, really quickly as an aside. It was like reported that like no albums this year have gone platinum. No, yeah. not a single one. Except wow. for the wait. Except one. Miley Cyrus. Is, nope, the Frozen soundtrack. Yeah. Wow. So not That's even Beyonce or like anybody. So it'd be hilarious to me if the best-selling record of the year was this on cassette tape. <laughs> How good. cool would that be? be pretty good. If they, all they have to do is sell Make over a million happen. units. We'd have to thank the spirit in the sky. You see what I did there? Yeah, it was nope. a good tie-in. That was really good. Speaking of spirits in the sky... Hey guys, did you know that there's a Fantastic Four movie coming out? There is? Yeah, well, um... Is it? Is it well, Really? What's happening? Is it really? Yeah, it's a reboot, apparently. I don't know. I, I haven't seen anything for it, except for, like, this crappy picture of, like, some guy who's supposed to be Doctor Doom. I don't know. Well, guess what, guys? Uh, writer and producer Simon Kingberg explains why we haven't seen anything from the reboot. He's saying, uh, we're putting it together now. And one of the important things, because th this Fantastic Four is a reboot and is such a different tonality and vibe from the other films, we want to make sure that the first thing we put out really expresses the voice of the movie and isn't comprised by not having visual effects ready. Wait, what? Compromised by not having any visual effects ready or anything like that. He goes on to say uh, he's not sure exactly when a trailer will come out, but the movie is scheduled for release on August 7th, 2015. So hopefully we'll see something before then. I'm going to predict that we're going to see a trailer for it August 6th, 2015. <laughs> you know, At this is probably a good thing, PM. though. Because the stuff that they've leaked so far looks horrible oh, without man. visual effects. Yeah, no, really so they're probably like, guys, 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 let's remake the whole thing in 3D. Yeah. And then we'll just... It'll be fine. There's no love coming from our chat for the Fantastic Four. No. Not a single person excited about it. Tell us if you're excited about it, though, because we want to laugh at you. <laughs> you know, it's your dongers. Hopefully, a year from now, we'll all be laughing about how much hate there's coming for this film. Yeah, so you know? Because it would be good, you mean? Because, I mean, we laugh about how much hate goes to the old fans. No, like, that's yeah. just still awful. And, uh, I like the first one. Okay. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> that was good. For, anybody, well, you did it. for any of our moderators, if you guys could very quickly give permission to Marisha or Marissa, Marissa. she's uh, she's always here, and it's it's totally cool if she wants to post a link. So if you guys could go ahead and permit Marissa, uh, that would be awesome. Thank you. Think she does. Dick, dick. Yeah, well, if that happens, then <laughs> we will ban her for life. Com. Oh. Face, okay. face poppies, so. hilarious. I heard the human torch is actually paid by a hundred different guys that are actually getting lit on fire. <laughs> 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 Realism is what oh, Fox is going for. Edel Dav's fantastic fail. Why have we never heard that before? Snap. That's a good one. That's really good. Moving right along, Warner Brothers' new digital division of Blue Ribbon Contents revealed that on top of the already announced Justice League series from Bruce Tim, there's another Mortal Kombat digital series in the works. Along with the live action Static Shock series from writer, producer, director Reginald Hudlin, best known for producing Django Unchained. Also, cool. a new what? Django Unchained web series. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, no, no. People have been wanting to see Static Shock come back forever. Yeah. Now nope, they're getting awesome. a live action version of Static Shock. Why does that that's get awesome. third billing yeah, after the no, Mortal you, you Kombat? You build up to it. You build up to it. I guess. Oh, wait, hold but on. so exciting. Along with the live action Static Shock series. Ah, ah. There we go. Who would play uh, Static Shock? That. What do you guys think? Good, good casting Will Smith. <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith. Will Smith. Jaden Smith. It'd be Jaden. Jaden Smith. It'd be Jaden. Jaden Smith. It'd be Jaden. Jaden Smith. Michael B. Perfect. Jordan, because Michael after B. Fantastic Jordan. Four, he's not going to be doing anything. Aww. That that uh that really handsome black guy from uh, the failed Supernatural spinoff. 
Dynamax? Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Oh, I do. The one in uh, the, Chicago. Yeah, right? the Chicago thing. The yeah, that was, didn't help. That kid was so cute. Okay, never mind. Okay. Well, guys, it's small news, but the Flash TV series has been picked up for a... Yeah, I <laughs> well, said that weird. Uh, small <laughs> news, <laughs> but the Flash... <laughs> Smash news, but the, small news, but the Flash TV series has been picked up for a full season. Yeah, it was expected to have a 22 episode run, but actor Grant Gustin, who plays Barry Allen, tweeted that we can actually expect 23 episodes for the Flash's first season. This comes on the heels of Gotham also being picked up for a full first season as well. So yeah, it does. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah. Whoa, this is a mega chunk one. Who wants to take the mega chunk one? I do it. Who we're all still recovering from after DC's huge movie announcement last Wednesday. But can you believe actor Ray Fisher, who was announced to play Cyborg, didn't know anything about getting his own solo film? <laughs> Quoth Fisher, I didn't know the extent to which DC and WB had planned on taking my character, he recalls. When I signed on, I just wanted to play, be a part of this world. But that specific formation, I found out then and there. I didn't think I'd be getting my own standalone film. <laughs> Turns out he was told only a few hours before the lineup was publicly released. So now we'll get to see him in Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice, both Justice League films, and his own solo oh film God. in 2020. He must I'll be... be 40 years old. <laughs> he he is probably over the moon. Can you imagine that getting cast for like what you think is like just like a side part in a movie and be like, oh, by you the get way, you get your I've, and a solo. You get I've your never own. Heard of yeah, this but like before. this is this is they've done this before. It's like the boy who cried wolf. Yeah, we're also gonna make like a, a Superboy Crypto team up movie in the year thirty forty five. Can you do that uh, quote Shut again? Up, Can you do that quote again, Ben? But this time, uh, as Cyborg would say it, please. Please. Okay. Uh. Oh, that'll get your super rage. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was excited. I was excited. <laughs> <laughs> we almost went for it. We all got silent for a second. We're like, this is going to be so bad. Just, it's so good. <laughs> Just extrapolating something from this, though, and I think this is something that we all might have missed, but... It is announced that mm. Cyborg is now in Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Yeah. Which means that for sure, for sure, we're seeing the entire Justice League now. Yeah. So, Dawn of Justice is going to be the first time that we see a live-action Justice League. Yeah. Except for that 90s TV show with <laughs> right. Frasier That'd playing like Martian Manhunter. It's that like, all bad. it is what? at the end, they're Frasier each Frasier was swarm. Martian Manhunter. Kelsey that would Grammar. be amazing. Kelsey Grammer was... Why do I know this? It's awful. Uh, speaking of the big DC film slate announcement, David Ayer is now quoted as saying, Suicide Squad is Dirty Dozen with Supervillains. Uh, and follows by asking, does a movie really need good guys? Which is just all the more reason to be excited about the Suicide Squad film. Awesome. All right. Awesome. I'm excited. Do you guys think Harley Quinn's going to be in it? She has to, she's right? She's got to be. She's the face she's, of the I she's hope she's be not. Thing. Well, it's great, like but she Suicide has to be. I, they need to introduce her right, I think. And if How they just gonna... throw her in the Suicide Squad... Maybe they'll introduce, maybe they'll put her origin like in a flashback in that movie. That'd be kind of cool, right? Mm. You're wearing an X-Men shirt. Your, your <gasps> opinion is invalid. Would you I'm like it if like in a flashback she was in her animated costume? And then they go into Suicide Squad stuff. I want her in her uh, animated costume forever. Like Just for the whole movie? Like, who I'd cares like about what she's wearing now? Just That's what she should wear all the time. I'd like that too. Make it happen, Ben. No, if it you got connects. He knows everyone. It's true. If he I, knows everyone. If I, had, if I had that kind of control, you, Harley man. Quinn wouldn't be wearing clothes, period. Am I right? Yes, I am. It's getting really guys, weird. We just got more news from the chat. Uh, our very own Archerman19 just joined an Infinite Crisis team. He's oh. going to be on a new team called Team Evil. Ooh. Archerman, team. we expect you to carry the team, and we believe in you. Good luck, sir. Archerman, we're starting a team called Eviler. <laughs> team, team Viler. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> suck on that. All right. Sorry, first time in Skype, and sorry I can't read what's happening. Leave King. I am a beardist. She's a beardist, so she's leaving, I guess. Okay, okay. I'm my my beard year, is offending her. I'm an 11 year old mixed girl. Sorry, I look weird. Why? You look, no, you don't look weird at you all. You look like a piece of paper. You don't look weird. Let's, uh, wait, hold on. Get on camera, girl. 
Shia LaBeouf. Girl. Oh, okay. oh, oh my God. God. Hold on. You don't look my. weird. No, no, Thank no, no. you for joining us. Girl, is her, can we make sure her her Skype is unmuted? Can some, Girl, can we, you are gorgeous. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, let's make sure her Skype is unmuted. Whoever told you that makes girls look weird, they're just jealous of how beautiful and exotic you look, honestly. So you can tell them to go suck a dick. Yeah. How old are you, 11? It's okay, tell them to go suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer is a great role model. Uh, Listen, mixing races is the wave of the future. You strengthen the gene pool. You are more immune to diseases than any of these idiots. It's true. Hey, tell them wait to a suck minute. a dick. Hey. Yeah, hey, you know what? Hey, hey, as a mixed young woman myself, I support what Jennifer is saying. I knew it. I saw you get on my soapbox. Really but nobody Todd should make this in the cut down. nobody should be making you feel weird, weird girl. No, you are beautiful. You are yeah. beautiful. You go put on a pretty dress and you come back so we can tell you how beautiful you are. That's right. You do it now. And then you I get in the you. kitchen. Put on a dress. He okay, guys. Pancakes. Well, we're very glad to have you joining us. Uh, welcome to the comic book show here on the comic book uh, here on the comic book show at Twin Galaxies Live. Uh, more news. Jenna Malone has finally been confirmed to appear in Batman v Superman Dawn O Justice, and speculation runs rampant that she might be none other than Carrie Kelly, aka Robin from Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns. Oh but it's just a rumor for now. I would hate that. That are you I kidding? Hate it. I think I, I think it's I, it. it's been confirmed because uh, an extra saw her on the set. And since Zack Snyder's been talking to Frank Miller anyway, and they're doing the whole takeoff of, I think it's what's happening. Oh my God. She could totally be Batgirl. That's no. the thing. What's upsetting to me is if they're going to add a female to it, they should add Batgirl. Nope. Why make Robin? Think about what happens when he's joined by Batgirl. Now he's going to be flanked by two girls. Yeah, because yeah, Batman Robin. Oh, wait, hold like on. That. Okay, that's, yeah, okay. that's yeah, all right. Okay. That's also, all right. oh my God, Jenna Maloney is one of the hottest. Can't wait to see her as Robin. One of the hottest. Um, you sounded more excited that she was Robin. Static Klingon thinks it, says, "Is this show live or is it pre-recorded? How can we be sure?" No uh, idea. I don't know. There's <laughs> literally no way to tell. No. Nope. Uh, You've caught us. Yep. Okay. Yeah. This, we aired this like three years ago. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Final bit of news. Correct. Hey, lady. What's your name? Uh, I forgot. What? Her name is Yen. Wait. Oh, what's the lady host? Again. Yes. Okay, so last bit of news that we have. Marvel has teamed up with New York uh, Eye and Ear Infirmary of Mount Sinai, Sinai. Sinai to introduce a brand new hero. We have a picture too. Hint, hint. Uh, meet Safira. Oh, there, there used to be a TV up there that we're yeah. supposed to point towards. But yeah. Are we pointing there? towards that? No, no, but look at that. No, but if we point down, it won't line up in the edit. So we can point up because it's up there. Yeah. Oh, she's cute. Yeah, this is Safira. She's a hearing impaired superhero. Uh, Marvel and the Chil Children's Hearing Institute of New York's goal is to help uh, and inform children about the ways to. What is happening? Okay, I'll keep going. So we might need um, that. My, that uh, whatever um, is whatever Skype cam is creating some. some she kind of looks like Claire. Oh, can you write in the sorry guys? Yeah. Can you write in it's the weird. chat um, for her to, uh, to huh. uh, go to push what the topic. Does it okay, continue. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so da -da -da -da. Marvel and the Children's Hearing Institute of New York's goal is to help and inform children about the ways to take care of their hearing aids and to boost their confidence and make them feel empowered awesome. about the devices they use to help the, their hearing. That's awesome. Though it seems Safira will only appear in a one-shot comic, Aww. it may be safe to say that Marvel will continue to produce more comics. Picture attached. Is Marvel going to make beautiful. a diabetic superhero? <laughs> what is the matter with you? What are you doing? Nothing. I'm fine. You know what's funny? Fine. Matt, do you have any diabetic friends? <coughs> no. <laughs> diabetic, diabetic people, people don't have friends. He's like, I they're think, all dead. I think you might be getting one soon. I think that's what's wrong with me. I, maybe I'm diabetic. Oh, my God. Oh, Edel Dav. That is not entirely Ooh. stupid of a question. I mean, it's, me good que it's a valid yeah. question. It's mean, but it's valid. Well, get the comic and find out. So that's the news, everybody. Oh, terrible. Oh, good throw. Not, I was all right. I'm going to spit. Hold on. Twee. Okay. 
Ooh. Wait, Internet Explorer 11, is that true? Was there a video game based on a diabetic superhero? There was a video game based on two diabetic elephants who went to camp, and it was called Packy and Marlon, and it was terrible. Oh, my God. Uh, I learned about <laughs> diabetes. diabetes. All right, guys, and with that, I'm going to move you over to... Them, you just wait. Oh, you guys should talk about this! Oh, yeah. But in, in a grand fashion, yes. after I move over to the machine to play Infinite Crisis, you can join me. I'm Gotham oh, yeah. City Siren. That's Jennifer signing off at 11. Okay. And guys, the final bit of news from the Daily Planet. The comic book show has a new sponsor. I don't know if you guys noticed our nifty little layout in the bottom corner down there. We are now sponsored by House of Secrets out of Burbank. It is awesome. Um, they are phenomenal. We had a great hour-long adventure there the first time that we swung by. Check out tons and tons of back issues, amazing Golden and Silver Age stuff all over the walls. Everything. Incredible statues, including some that I can't talk about because Wes wants to buy them and he's saving up for them. Yeah, you can't. So you I can't, can't tell buy. you what they are because if you knew, you'd probably go there and you'd want to buy them. That's enough. But if you go for yourself, you can find out other stuff. Just don't Just get, You're giving them too much. Too right? high. You got to stop. Uh, but stop. seriously, if you're ever in... Burbank now, definitely be sure to swing by House of Secrets, and you can follow them on Facebook as well, but I'm not sure that we have the link quite yet, yeah. so hopefully we will be on that at some point, uh, especially if Guru joins us. Yeah. Does anyone have Mike Pack 8? We're going we're gonna to try to resolve this smacky, the problem. A nine. Can everyone, mute? okay, so what, sorry guys, tech, sorry, this is the night of tech issues, but we're going, for the edit, we're going to mute one by one, Matt, mute. Muted. Unmute. Unmuted. West mute. Mute. Unmute. Coco. Ben mute. Unmute. Hey. Lucas. Okay, mute. Unmute. All right. Do we know whose it is? Yeah. Might be Matt. It is not okay. me. That's all that matters. I'm off. I'm turned off right now. Cool, so uh, it looks like a... Uh, tickle, I'm ticklish. No, no, that's not Sorry, one more time. I turned my mic off. No, mine is off. No. Why is my, why is Wes's mic gotta be hotter? I'm working hard here. Are you hearing it now? Okay, it's Wes. It's Wes. Yep. All right, we're going to need somebody to... Captain Novalin? Yeah, Novalin is an insulin company. 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 Right. I'm so right. good at words tonight. All my words. I am an X-Man as well as I am many voices. <laughs> All right, guys. So. All right, uh, that'll, that'll shut please enjoy this musical interlude while we uh, fix our You are life. beautiful, no rest in the way. The words no, can't can bring me down. Don't you bring me down today. Don't look at me. You are falling in love with me, aren't you? I can tell. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Swap, swap, swap. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Stop eating peanuts. <laughs> Keep the nuts out of your mouth, Matt. Yeah, Matt. <laughs> Now's not the time. I love having nuts in my mouth. Of, All right. Are we, are we good now? Is everything yeah, okay? The crackle? We're gonna go. So let's, let's Should we just a, go dark for the night? No, let's do a reset. Everybody get on, get on your professional faces. And... Go face. So guys, it's the Danger Room. Yeah. That's where we put Marvel versus DC. You get to decide who wins the week. Best of five rounds. You know how it works. You've been here before. S spoiler, it's us, DC. So. Oh, you just screwed yourself there, buddy. <laughs> but guys, yes, after each round, we're going to ask you to vote and decide who won that round. We're going to teach you how to vote, so stay tuned. You're smart people. You know how it works, and I am fucking tired. Let's get this started. Phrasing. What? We can try Mubot voting. We can try Mubot voting. Okay. Um, Very good. Here's uh, for our, our lovely Skypers. Uh, just wanted to point out, guys, that if you want to be part of the broadcast, you should Skype into 5, 6, 7, or 8. 
because the top three are not going to show up in the show. Yeah, you want to be on Stanley's channel, don't you? Yeah, yeah. On. These get reposted to World of Heroes. Yeah, so that's true. Sign out, log in on the bottom one so we can see your beautiful yeah, face. Six, seven, cool. or eight. All right. Marissa's on it. Brilliant. Let's do this. All right. I already held it up, but I will do it again. It looks like DC is currently three weeks ahead, but Marvel won last week, which means Marvel presents first in round one of the Danger Room. I wonder what you guys got. I don't know. And what, what do we got? I don't know. Yeah. Should we just do it? No. Should we just do it, you guys? No. You sure? Yeah, let's do it. This is fucking good. All right, I got it. I got uh, it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, he's pulling up Spider-Man. Shh. I know. Hey Timer man. hasn't hey started man. yet. Okay, let me know when. I am... <laughs> I think I'm framed. <laughs> I'm ready. Go. So guys, Miles Morales, the ultimate Spider-Man number six. So guys, in the previous issue, J. Jonah Jameson blew Norman Osborn's head off. Oh my god, he's dead. So he's like calling people up saying, oh my god, I just killed Norman Osborn. But oh, no, he's appearing in the back. He's not dead. And oh no, J. Jonas Jameson. Looks like you be dead. The Green Goblin just freaking blew his head off. Uh, so at MJ's house, Miles Morales is there with uh, Peter Parker and Mary Jane. And uh, Miles is like, hello, tell me who, y who are you? Who the hell are you? You can't be the real Spider-Man. We all, the world saw you die. You can't be the real Spider-Man. But uh, Peter Parker says, this is, this is how he explains it. He remembers his whole life. He remembers even dying. And then he remembers waking up in this lab. The first thing he does is uh, he meets up with NJ. And she's like, they got this picture of her like bawling. Uh, where is it at? When they first uh, see each other. She's like, oh my God, you're alive. And they actually dig up his grave and find out his body is missing. So this has to be Peter Parker, right? Whoa. Well, uh, uh, Aunt May and Gwen Stacy show up. Uh, Aunt May's like, I knew it was you. But guess what? Green Goblin also shows up. But guess what? Uh, Miles Morales, he has this. But then Green Goblin reveals to uh, uh, Miles saying, you'll never know who your father really is if you kill me. Fatality. How appropriate. So guys, yeah, Miles Morales number six. Peter Parker's not dead anymore. Static Klingon, to answer your very, very appropriate question, I would eat my eggs poached. Just take a pick. I'll do either. Poached. All right, guys, so for round one, Marvel has presented Miles Morales Spider-Man number six. And is this the first time Peter Parker has come back from the dead? Ever? Uh, no. I mean, no, no, I mean, like, since Well, I can't, I'll, we'll talk about it more, because I can't talk about it now. I don't okay. want to. It's true. All right. I don't want to. No uh, fair information. Yeah, I don't want to. Fair enough. <laughs> screw the night up. <laughs> jackal! Jackal! Is it a jackal? It was a jackal! Jackal! <laughs> it's not a jackal! Are you sure? My favorite part about <laughs> the movie was, you be dead. Who? What? Wait, why is my mic not working? Ben's mic is low. Jennifer's mic is low. Is everyone's mic well, I can't do anything about it from the side unless idea. I can put it closer to my face. Yeah. Is this better? Is that Neo? How about that? If I if I better? Can okay, yeah. Mic's still muted, mouth. or can you guys hear me? We can hear you. Okay. Oh, okay. I just, just, you know, I didn't want to interrupt. I didn't want to be making noise in the background and interrupt you guys. Show. I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, right. uh, just out of curiosity, I do have a question about Age of Ultron. Is there actually going to be some talk about that? Yes, there will. There might be. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm here, guys. I'm here. I love this show. I'm here, guys. Aww. <laughs> Aww, yes. Thank Thanks, you. buddy. All Marvel right. has hey, a plan. Jim we'll met me that yesterday. Way. Jace introduced me last night to her. Oh, cool. Hello, hello. All right, so DC's going to start that round, so everyone be quiet. Hmm. Especially you, Matt. Don't say Especially, a word. Oh. You're so funny tonight. <laughs> Because hilarious. <laughs> I want to eat Matt's nuts while he's talking. Ready? Oh, God. He told me to be quiet. Go. Yes, I'm ready. Go. All right, we're following up Batman Eternal number 28. We presented number 27 <laughs> last week, but uh, of course, there's the Catwoman pole dancing joke, which is a recurring joke at this point, which I think is hilarious and awesome. Uh, thanks for stopping in, Imai. We'll see you soon. Now, on top of that, uh, Killer Croc finally stops in to bust up what's going on with 
uh, Catwoman because she's been captured and she's about to be killed. Um, but unfortunately, it's one of those bad situations where this is one of the most emotional books that I've read in a long time, and there's a guy who doesn't have great vision who's supposed to shoot Catwoman, misses Catwoman, and ends up killing Jade, the young girl who Waylon Jones was trying to take care of and who Catwoman was trying to protect. It's one of those few books that actually almost makes you want to cry because of how sad it is. In the meantime, uh, Barbara Gordon has been dropping Jason off the top of a roof trying to get him to convince everybody that he is actually the reason why Commissioner Gordon has been framed during Batman Eternal, which is all because of Hush's grand plan. Uh, but Red Hood shows up just in time to say, hey, don't do it. You, you, should, you should be better than this. Give me the rope. Give me the rope. So Barbara says, you're right. Hand it over to you. Uh, and Jason, Jason Todd says, uh, that's right. You don't do this. This isn't you. It's me. And then he drops Jason off the roof because Red Hood is just a badass. And on the way down, the guy's praying like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Red Hood is pretty awesome. Uh, and I love seeing him in all of these books. Of course, Barbara Gordon manages to catch him at the very last second, but he does survive. Now, at the very end, we are able to see Batman talk to Selina, and they're crying, and it's a really emotional moment where um, Batman says, uh, Catwoman actually says, oh, God, I could have stopped it. I could have saved innocence from being killed in the crossfire. Batman Five says, seconds. I'm here, Selina. I'm here. She says, no, no, you're not. No one's here. I'm going to take over the entire crime syndicate to protect everybody. <laughs> She's going to take over the entire crime syndicate to protect everybody. Wait, yeah. Batman is crying? You said Batman was crying. She's trying no, to no, screw no, no, everyone. I want to see Batman. Cry. I know she keeps wanting to be like, Come on, tell more. Tell me more. Tell me uh, more. I hate it when I'm not on the show. Uh, <laughs> if only you made the rules. I know. God so that damn it. that concludes round one's presentations. <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man has presented uh, Miles Morales. The, or I'm no. sorry, Marvel has you presented. You gave it away. <laughs> Marvel Jeez. has presented. <laughs> supposed to have a secret identity. Spider Man has presented Marvel Morales, the ah. Miles Amazing Ultimate guy. Uh, hey, why don't you put let's try that again. Mouth. Number I nine. Know, right? no. Marvel has presented <laughs> Miles, Miles Morales, Morales, the Ultimate Spider Man, number six. And DC has presented Batman Eternal, number 28. Uh, we're not being joined by Guru, but we're very hopeful that voting yep. will be yep. open here in a second. Voting is now open. So guys, you can type in exclamation mark vote space Marvel or exclamation mark vote space DC. Your last vote is the only one that counts, but the more invalid votes you do, the more likely things are to get screwed up. You guys, yep. their so fate is in your hands. Guys, you're doing it wrong. We need you guys no, to vote. Doing right. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it real right. Are we going to see 100% for DC this time? Oh Just my goodness. Happen. It's fun, guys. Try it. If this is your first time watching, the voting process is what makes this particular segment extra interactive. The loser of this week, we kill. We what? put them in a pit of lions. Wait. Oh, so shit. I'm, wait, I'm actually, what? What? I'm okay with that. This is not a good week to, to yeah. do that. I gotta go, you guys. Shut up, Lucas. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Face Poppy says, are you guys seriously not voting Marvel right now? I <laughs> Yeah, you they are face poppy. Guys, 12 Parker more seconds to vote. Voting closes after one minute, so you guys are getting Where's your votes in, and thank you for in. doing it right. Uh, whether you're voting Marvel or voting DC, we appreciate your votes. But I hate to say it, voting is now closed. Where's the little pie? One. I'm going Guru's nuts over here. There's, there's no little pie tonight because oh, Guru's not here. So. I just want the little Ooh, pies. Uh, what do we have? Voting is now closed on round it, one. Guys, oh, wow. okay. We can see it now. We got the pie. Uh, uh, DC got two-thirds of the vote with 66.7%. Yeah. DC takes round no one. Math. <laughs> no, it's, it, it popped oh, up over there. I don't you. know math. I just read Friendly the neighborhood Spider-Man. So DC is It's still taken. open. Marvel can still win it. <laughs> <laughs> they can't bet. All right, well, that moves vote. us, that moves yeah, us into round two. Good. One on the board for DC. <sighs> Let's see what happens when we return. No, right now. We're, we're not going to commercial. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. We're doing it live. Yeah, we're back. Now we go, yeah? Now we go. Take it away. I believe in you. I always have. I it never was a magic trash can. Okay. A little hyper. I Don't eat peanuts before the show, man. The peanuts are delicious. Peanuts just get you all the crazy. Are real. It's like really weird. He's going nuts over nuts over here. <sighs> yes. That was pretty good. Yes. That was pretty yes. good. Yes. That was all right. It's the only thing Ben says on that. All right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You guys have got a new tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to show him that during Watchtower. I'll show it during Watchtower. All right. Let me know when, Wes. Okay. Give me a second. Give me a Emily second. During Watchtower, by the way. <gasps> Newsflash. Okay. Why wasn't that part of the Daily Planet? 
here. <laughs> it, it just came in. Uh -oh. <laughs> Lucas is leaving during Watchtower. Great. Now Marissa's going to leave, too. Well, I guess that just means that we have to do our bat signal before the Watchtower. Because tonight we're going to give out all of the rest of the red star I'm shirts. Here. So for everybody who sticks around, yep. there's a strong chance of you winning a red Thank star you. shirt. Okay. And go. <clears throat> so DC is presenting Batman Superman number 15. This is a storyline that I've been bringing up a couple times in the last couple of uh, Danger Room where, where Batman and Superman don't have their memories. Uh, incredible art by, uh, by Mr. Pack here. And uh, that is exemplified right here when they do a splash page of what makes Batman Batman when he gets his memories back. It's really amazing. You get to see um, like uh, Thomas with Bruce, uh, Bruce getting really pissed because that's what he does. Uh, in turn, this also happens with Clark, uh, what makes Superman Superman when they finally get their uh, memory back. A lot of really cool random stuff happens in here. Bruce, before he gets his memory back, he's kind of cocky and funny. Uh, he's teaming up with Lois and then gives Lois... Uh, the Batgirl outfit, which is interesting. You can stop. Thanks so much. Uh, the Batgirl costume, so that's weird. Um, and they make out, so that's even weirder. But I always thought they were a really good uh, team anyway, a little couple anyway. Um, but incredible uh, uh, splash pages. And uh, what the other thing I really dig is uh, once Batman gets his memories back, um, he finally realizes that like, he was a normal person for a little while. He had a sense of humor. He didn't have the weight of guilt and, and remorse for his parents. And uh, you have this really touching scene at the end where Alfred goes, is everything okay, Master Bruce? And Master Bruce goes, Alfred, call me Batman. That's really sad. Good book. Batman Superman, number 15. That's good. Let's get out. I feel good about that. That's good. That's a good book. That's good. That's a really pretty book. Oh, good book. Really beautiful oh, splash page. That was inappropriate, <laughs> Ben. Take heart. <laughs> Saw what you were doing. I just realized that I called Dragonite Imine yeah. during my last presentation. Uh, so you God. lied. I, you well, lied I feel and really you really bad forfeit, about that now. Forfeit. That goes you lied. Marvel. Yep. What? This Dragonite walked out and I was. Um, in it's the okay, Matt. We wouldn't be saying this on the Today Show. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well. Marvel's gonna counter with something. I think Marvel's gonna counter with. No. Yeah. Not so soon. Yes. All right. Another Spider-Man comic. Is that what's All right. Are you taking penalty on this, fellas? Go at it. <laughs> <gasps> oh my God. Uh oh. Hey, Neo. Oh. Neo, are we ready? Neo. So we're taking a penalty for this one. Here, uh, we want to run that trailer that happened to come out today. You can do an intro since there's like... What? Did you not get my email? I'll go talk to him. Uh, I heard be you right back! Bam! I heard you talk to him, so yep. he should not be Neo. confused about it. Neo? It's the one that he... Oh man, if we're going to a video, I can eat more peanuts. Yeah. Sure that would make Jennifer really it's during happy. during the video. Yeah, but do you realize that when you come back, you got peanut mouth, and then like it's all smacky when you talk in the mic? <laughs> it's like I think, Jennifer, you're not being objective because be you're the only one that has to make out with them. Uh, Guys. Not necessarily. That was good. Not that a was requisite. a good comeback. <laughs> and she's Did like, you do it? maybe not so much tonight. Computer's, Computer's about, to about, about to break? <laughs> Up this evening. <laughs> This is crazy. Guys, uh, I don't know if you knew this, but literally there's a wall gone now. Yep, uh, no the wall. tech issues are the smallest, but the wall being gone and all the all the rest, there's just so much that's uh, so wait, hold on. not well, what's I need going a, on. I, need I realized I called you I Mai instead of Dragonite. So and the, yeah, I was in the middle of the argument, I was like So what's happening with the computer? And as soon as I was done, I was like, crap. Uh, <laughs> I felt bad, man. Sorry about that. So there's no way Well. My bad. Is there well, no way while to we're while we're taking a pause, it'd be, here, it'd be wanna, more appropriate wanna, if you're like, "What's up, Marvel?" I want to uh, <laughs> I want to take this time to announce that on Saturday, this okay. Saturday, um, October twenty fifth, uh, the show that I do, Saving Throw, the D and D tutorial show, we are going to be taking over the space for most of the day. We are participating in Extra Life this year. Um, that is the. Okay, it's a, it's a 24-hour gaming marathon for charity. 
And uh, the, uh, the lovely people here at Twin Galaxies Live have welcomed us with open arms. Saturday, we will be here all day for part of, uh, there, there's still going to be the regular programming from, uh, what is it? 7, seven to uh, midnight. From 7 to midnight, we'll still have the regular programming. Uh, we'll be moving to a different area to play some D&D. &D. But in the meantime, you're going to see us here all day, 24 hours, from 8 a.m. Saturday to 8 a.m. Sunday. Saving Throw and our friends will have some pretty cool friends coming through, too. We'll be here to play video games. Uh, we'll chat with you. We'll play. It'll be amazing. Tune in. Okay. I might stop okay. by. Lucas <laughs> might stop by. Uh, so you guys can I'll actually do what you wanted. Wes. No, oh, wait. No. We'll come by. Jennifer said. So you guys can what? actually do what you wanted for the round now. We can do what yes. we want to do? Yeah, right, yeah. That was good vamping. Well, Go ahead, just do it then. Just do it. Just go ahead, just do it. Just rip it off. Rip the band-aid off. Uh, Marvel is going to take hey, the guys, If you guys can still hear, um, do you know if it's true that uh, uh, the Hulk is going to join the cast of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? That's absolutely true. Let's play the trailer right now. <laughs> do we do it? Are we live? <laughs> Let's We're doing it live. <laughs> hey. Oh, my God. What a show. It's one of those weeds. <laughs> it's absolutely oh, okay. true. It's <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Such a great yeah. response. <laughs> we heard it here first. You guys are going to get 100% of this round. You think? Yeah. Better. I don't know. I had a really strong argument. Wait, what is this? Is this Make Avengers 2? Sure. Yeah. What? You yeah, haven't seen this trailer? trailer? Oh, Jennifer. Yeah, take a minute. It's <laughs> incredible. How? Oh my god. It was leaked today, so Marvel decided to release it for real today. Really? Yeah, and yeah. then they, they said, damn it, Hydra, which is really funny. Yeah, it was supposed to come out next Tuesday during Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode. <sighs> I like the wild card we have on Skype tonight. <laughs> yeah, can we mute the? Uh, can we mute them like can we mute right that now? Person? Cause that was. Wow. Look, look, Jennifer, Jennifer, look. Look. The Hulk is a Hulk little Hulk weird. Hulk I like that he's got a helmet on his helmet. Yeah, I know. He's extra protected. Ah! Scarlet Witch. I know, and not X Men. Ballerinas. Lucas, we're going to play this again next round two. Yeah, just play it again. I'm just going to keep playing it. Well, yeah. once we take one penalty, the next time we take a penalty, is something major we'll happens. Around. Yeah, so we don't want to do that. Uh, oh my god! Just play, What's happening? Just play look, 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 <laughs> what did, uh, I hate this game. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my Jesus! Oh my fuck balls. Holy back? crap. Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? No one's gonna watch that. Are, you, are we back? Uh, Guys, no, we need, no one's we gonna need what can break my brainium? What can break my Hulkbuster? I don't think they can understand. <laughs> All right, I guess that concludes uh, round two, guys. Marvel will be taking that penalty. We're going to take all of the penalties. And voting is now open. Okay, wait, wait, guys. Voting is open whatever Neo said. Voting is open, okay. Voting's open, so you could vote for uh, Avengers Age of something or other. Vote How many times Marvel did you watch it? I, I don't know. Before the show started. Uh, guys, well, guys, vote. let's... Really quickly, this is round two for the comic book show. Marvel has presented the all-new, recently released Marvel Avengers 2 Age of Ultron trailer. DC has presented Batman Superman number 15. Voting is open for one minute, so guys, get your votes in. You can vote Marvel or you can vote DC, but either way, vote quickly. Guys, wouldn't it be cool if you just... Kendall Thomas, fix your vote. Guys, check it out. Wouldn't it be cool if you just voted DC because it would be funny to beat <laughs> Avengers with a comic book? Nope. It would be great, right? Be you guys could be, hey, you could, you could support Hollywood, okay, or you could support comics. Yeah. Wes, we all, we all live pretty much in Hollywood. This, Damn it. Yeah. Did you say you support Cox? No, it's not what I said. It's interesting you heard that. 
Uh, Jennifer, do you have a timer running? I do, I do. Oh! Jennifer does have a timer running, and the timer has gone off. So voting is now closed <laughs> Wait, on round two. It is not shocking that Marvel won, but I want to acknowledge and thank the 13.3 people. That's two people. That's percent. <laughs> That's percent. percent. Yeah, percent people. that, that voted DC. People. Well done. Yay. What happened to this? Secrets. Vamping. So, hooray! Marvel bam, bam, took bam. the win. What a surprise. But you're right, 13% is not very many. Yay! <laughs> Yay! It's crazy. All right, so that means Marvel leads us off in round three, and it's tied up. One vote, or one round Marvel, one round DC. Let's play it again! Let's <laughs> play it again! Let's play it again! Can we play 90 seconds of it again? No, 45 Can we seconds. play 45 seconds of it again? <laughs> no. Neo. No. <laughs> so Jennifer, Neo. Jennifer Beatles. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to just sing I Got No Strings for 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, right. I'm going to tell you when to go because this timer only has one minute as its limit. Yeah, so we vamp so for 15 seconds. When we don't vamp, I'll tell you when to go in case oh, your okay. vamping goes Wait, over. You do that. Okay. I yeah. have nothing this week. Yeah, you just read like... Yeah, no, I read three books and one of them, the only good one, I can't use. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> because it was from like three months ago. This is from three weeks ago. <laughs> uh, should I do the other one? No, you do that one. Yeah, I know, you know where you get ready. that, like, which should I... What? It's a problem. Okay, let me know when you... S and... Oh, let okay. me know. Okay. And go! So, access number two, guys. So, uh, they started the thing out with Falcon yelling at Iron Man, saying, how the hell do we stop them? Them being the uh, ultimate sentinels that the Red Skull made. Well, actually, it was Tony Stark who made them. Uh, Rogue touched Onslaught and found out that there's still a shred of Xavier's essence in Onslaught. Did you hear that? Xavier is still kind of sort of alive. So Onslaught, uh, Xavier told Rogue a secret. Onslaught never uh, expected for Rogue to have Wonder Man's powers. Boom, right through the skull. Uh, <laughs> things get worse, though. Magneto flees. The heroes uh, retreat and they recoup and uh, they're, they're taken down by the Sentinels. Uh, it's just Iron Man and the Red Skull at this time. But then Magneto comes back with some friends. Don't do it! I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Oh, that was the old one. Sorry, Force of Habit. Instead of Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Okay. Spins a web. Any size. So guys. I'm good on any of these. So, well, I mean, I've already used that one. So I'm good on either of these. So that was round three. And Marvel has presented in that quick 45 seconds. They had to take a penalty. Sixes. What was it? Axis. Axis. Right? Axis. It Axis. looks like sixes. It does, but no. see when you turn oh. it around. Yeah, we're tied right Axis. It's Illuminati lettering. Yeah. Uh, DC's got a counter with something. All right, I got something. Oh, we got something. We got something. Does whatever a sweater pig does. <laughs> Can he swing thing. from a web? No, we can't. He's a pig. <laughs> All right, I am ready when, uh, when you are, Jennifer. Go. All right, guys, now I know this is kind of a hard sell, but please allow me to uh, elaborate. The Godhead storyline is really, really good, and DC for round three is presenting Green Lantern's New Guardians number 35. Now, in this episode or issue, we find out that Kyle Rayner is actually not a white lantern. It's not a ring that he's possessing. It's actually the life equation. So there's your mind blown already, and you're like, wait, what? And the Guardians have been lying to him the whole time. The power is now stuck inside of him, and it's not coming from the ring, so the ring really doesn't matter. Uh, which, of course, means that the Guardians want to try and contain it, because that's what they do, because they're little blue dicks. So he's like, no, that's it, and he goes pretty much nuclear. Now, the really crazy thing about this is because this is an awesome throwback. I don't know if you guys remember Kyle Rayner's girlfriend who got sliced up and shoved into a fridge in the middle of the 90s. It was one of the most shocking moments ever in comic book history. Well, guess what? Kyle now has the life equation, and he kind of accidentally almost turns Carol Ferris into his stuffed into a fridge girlfriend, which is like, what? And she's wearing an SC shirt, so that's cool. Huh. Um, High Father shows up, and he's like, hey, by the way, um, I know that this is going to take a lot of trust on your behalf, but I want to work with you rather than working against you. I can't force you to do anything, but trust me, we should work together. Kyle kind of says, I don't know if I trust you, but I have to try. He ends up making out with Carol Ferris, Hal Jordan's ex-girlfriend. What? 
and there's more, but I can't tell you about it. So DC presents Green Lantern New Guardians number 35 in round three. Marvel has presented Access number two. And voting is open whenever... Voting is open now, so get your votes in. Either exclamation mark vote Marvel or exclamation mark vote DC. Might I suggest... Marissa, fix your vote. The... Just, just remember... Remember last round, you guys? Is that not nuts? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to keep doing that. Wow. Hey guys, remember when we played the Age of Ultron trailer? That was good times. That's really cool. You got 30 seconds to get your votes in. These gentlemen, their, uh, their fates are in your hands. Uh, Marvel has one, DC has one. This will be swinging in one person or another's favor. Exclamation vote. Vote space a DC. Exclamation a space. I'm if, if I had a vote, I would vote for DC this round. No, if I had a vote, I would vote for DC. Hey, what's the capital of our country, guys? Marvel. It's not Washington Marvel. Yeah, it is. It sure is not. Yeah, it should be changed. Nope. Marvel. If it's not, it should Explanation be. point. Vote. Marvel. That's it, guys. Voting is now closed for round three. Damn. What? Oh, oh no. Uh-oh. It is. Uh-oh. 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 Marvel yeah. takes it. We take it. So that's two. I got I to gotta say, a little bit of a cheap card playing last round. Little bit of a cheap card reminding people of last round. Yeah, I Ben. Don't, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, how about do you want me to remind card. you of your 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 awful and appropriate mannerisms while I was presenting <laughs> my? Was, I huh? just saw him doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice. Hey guys. All right, guys. Well, voting is now closed on round three. Marvel is ahead with two rounds. If they win the next round, that's it for this week's Danger Room. Yep. But Marvel is presenting first, so they can uh, oh. they can potentially win it right here. Go ahead, guys. We're on temporary timeout, apparently. Again, we do that tonight. Who's Red Onslaught? What is that? I don't know. I don't know. It would be amazing if you were muted and you still won. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, seriously. Saturday, October 25th is going to be amazing. 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. Sunday, October 26th. I will be here. Why don't you plug something? I will, I'm going to plug your face. No thanks. Uh, with what? Gonna, what are you going to play gonna it with? I'm going to be here for charity, extra life, uh, saving throw. We're going to be playing some D&D. We're going to be playing a lot of video games. Uh, if you're in the area, feel free to come on down and play with us. Uh, if you're not in the area, tune on in and play with us. Tell her, bro. Yeah. And, uh... To, to both Telebro and Archerman, Telebro, I sent out your prize from the charity that Jennifer and I were, or the, the campaign that Jennifer and I were trying to help promote. I think I sent it out two days ago, so I'm not surprised that it hasn't gotten to you yet. Archerman, though, if you are still in chat, uh, please send me an email. I do not have your address. Um, the prize has been sitting on Jennifer's desk for about... Oh, three uh, weeks, two weeks now. Uh, but I need your address to be able to send it out. So if you could send me an email Neo, at uh, like Matt Live one three three seven Matt Live at Gmail, I will make sure to get that sent out to you. I think you won the Street Fighter Four Arcade Edition and the Jennifer CD, but it's it's all sitting there. So it's all yours whenever you get to it. Uh, Greg, will you be able to donate? Yes, you will. Uh, uh, we'll have, I think we're going to have a bot that'll tell you guys where to donate to. If not, we'll be telling you on the regs. There'll also be challenges, and as we meet our goals, uh, we'll have to do some silly, silly crap. So, uh, you'll, you'll want to help us meet our goals, so you can see us do some silly, silly crap. I love silly crap, Ben. Silly crap. It's kind of like silly putty, only way more disgusting. With crap. I'll be there. I'm going to give so much charity to crap. Raise your donors, everybody. This tonight is the night of... Crap. Technical of crap. <laughs> 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 the gods knew I wanted to leave early. <laughs> so they, they're just making it as hard as possible. That's what she said. Guys, there's a wall missing here. <laughs> and I feel like that's made this place a lot cooler. As in Thank physically you. cooler. It is cold in here. You're very observant. I have a tattoo. All right. Whenever you're ready, you let me know. Neo, are you ready? Okay. So I am ready. Go. 
So guys, last night's episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. showed the introduction of Mockingbird. And they just released a new photo this morning of how she's going to look in her new outfits. And she's blonde now. Uh, <laughs> here's a clip from last night's episode. Play it, Neo. It's Wonder Woman. She was so good in that. We should do a Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yeah. It would be good. Pelicus? Adrian oh, Pelicus? That was very Black Widow. That was Adrian Pelicus, the actress. She revealed in an interview recently that she was hesitant about getting the Mockingbird role because she, was, uh, she wasn't she was sure whether that would be like, oh, she's not going to get another role in the MCU universe, you know? Uh, but she was asked whether or not her role was going to be uh, introduced in the films. She said, that's a nice thing. It's the first Marvel show that's been on TV and crosses over uh, with whatever multiple times, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I hope there is potential for the character. Anything is possible in that world, which is wonderful. So guys, <gasps> Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. last night episode, it was awesome. <sighs> Check it out on Hulu. Yeah. I didn't want to walk in the background. Mock. <laughs> yeah. Ing. Yeah. Bird. Yeah. 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 That was good. Um, so it's our turn now, right? Yes. Stop touching. Do you want to? If, if, if I may. Yeah. Wait. Which one are you doing? The, yeah. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> So, in response to that adorable entry, um, we have a show that, that rocks a little -na -na -na, supernatural, if you will, the new Constantine on NBC. This is a preview. Play it. Play it. It looks so good, dude. But they have no faith in it as a network. Well, it's too bad because it's like... Friday at 9 p.m. It's the death song. It's the best show um, out of all of the new DC shows. They should have introduced it on Halloween night. Yeah. Eh, maybe, maybe not that. Death it's slot. It is playing on Halloween new, night. Uh, I'm going to make a new... Uh, yeah, that's I'm gonna right. I'm going to make a new combo character and it's going to be called Death Slot. Okay. Like if you have... It's a, it's a and girl, it only resurrects it's a, it's on a girl, It's a girl if you Friday have sex with night her. Night. Die. This really should be like yeah, a spinoff of Supernatural, or like yeah, I could I could see a spinoff, like a um, a crossover. Yeah. Jennifer, would you like to see a, a Constantine Supernatural crossover? Hell yeah! That'd be awesome. Da -na -na -na. Okay, that's pretty. It looks so good. That's pretty good. So guys, yeah, it's it's cool to have a new Mockingbird costume, but it's nice. I think Constantine is a lot cooler. Da -na -na -na. Plus, if you vote DC and we tie it, then we have to go into a fifth round. Shut so up. You can, hey, interrupting. Wait. Penalty. Ah! Right there. Oh, 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 in the face! In the face! Go yeah. DC. In the face! Oh, he is good. He is so good. Yeah, did that feel good? It felt good for me. So guys, that's it for round four. Uh, voting is open whenever Neo deems it so. Um, Marvel has presented the recap of last night's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And with the new picture for Mockingbird. And being rude. And DC presented the new Constantine trailer. Uh, and in the next round, DC has a bonus. All the while being has, oh, has voting already started? Yes, you guys voting have not has, been bringing any voting has started, I believe. At, at all whatsoever. Well, Greg you voted DC. Internet Explorer voted DC. Kenel Thomas voted DC. Edo Dab voted Marvel. Ragtag voted Marvel. Archman right, voted. Ass, I get it. <laughs> uh, I agree. Hey, you know what? I saw all like at Comic Con. I saw all the new um, shows, and I and I really I really enjoyed uh, Constantine the most. Friday, 9 p.m. Death slot. You mean awesome slot? Death slot. NBC. I mean, it, I mean, it's and show. guys, just it's one more time. Man. If you vote DC and DC wins this round, then you get to see more of us doing this. You know, which we we're here so for your enjoyment. Awesome show so. for you. It's, it's not though. It's not though. Well, actually, Lucas said he was gonna leave. So if you want Lucas to stay, you <laughs> should vote for Marvel. Don't you love it when you bring back the throwbacks like that? Mo Marvel. So voting DC probably Marvel. the way to go. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm that, I'm that new. 
I'm sorry. And that's it for voting on Sammy, round Sammy. four. Sammy. Voting is now closed. <laughs> oh, stop everything you're saying. That's DC awful. takes it in round four. There you go. That, that was a lot of cheap shots, but it worked. Yeah. So, uh, Lucas is dead. All right, so DC is. <laughs> that's what she said. Okay, no, that's what's, what he what's said. What's going to happen now is that everyone in the chat that says, "Oh, we need a fifth round. Da da da. We need a tie and da da da. Do the sixth round. You're going to be banned. I'm going to make it happen." <laughs> okay. So, yeah. We, we believe that you guys actually have started purposefully trying to create ties when we go into the fifth round. Like, I think they're actually doing it on purpose at this point. Um, you want to present round five or you want me to? Uh, Wait, what are we at now? Is it tied? It's tied up. Two, two? rounds two? each. All right. Moving into round five, it is currently tied. DC has won two rounds and Marvel has won two rounds. We're moving into the dreaded fifth round. So I'm just going to do it dark. So this is going to uh, this I'm is good. Gonna determine okay. the winner. You're good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's up to you. Oh. Might tie. Might tie. They, they could indeed tie it. Well, I, pre I presented Constantine, so you could you could do your thing. Go ahead. All right. With my face in the camera. Can't uh, tell. It used to maybe. be there. It's not anymore. I don't know why. Well, hi. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Go. All right, for round five, DC presents Red Hood and the Outlaws number 35. Remember when I was on hydrocodone and really drugged out and I was <laughs> telling the story about how Star Sapphire was really drugged out and murdering people? Uh, this is finally getting back to the sequel for that. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not really drugged out tonight. Sorry, guys. Uh, but it's amazing. We start out with Roy Harper burned to a crisp uh, in a hospital bed, and you're wondering, okay, what the hell happened? Well, we find out what happened. Um, surely enough, Star Sapphire went kind of nuts. Or, I'm sorry, Starfire went kind of nuts. Of course, she's still gorgeous as all get out, wearing a tiny little skimpy bikini throughout the entire thing, which is cool. Um, <laughs> but... What actually ends up happening is she's drugged out of her mind and Roy and Red Hood don't know it. So as they go to start fighting people who we believe are infused on Venom, which is a side plot where actually Red Hood finally takes one of these little packs. Where is it? Uh, oh, come on. Page back. Uh, Red Hood actually steals one of the packs and he says, is it cheap? Yeah, but will it help me win? Probably. So I think we're going to get to see a Red Hood who's amped up on Venom, which is just awesome because Red Hood is already kind of a badass. Remember oh, in round two no, where he dropped the person off the roof? Minor interruption. Sorry, we're still presenting. But Corey ends up saying, oh my god, I'm really sorry I'm drugged out, but I have to leave. And Roy's saying, what do you mean you have to leave? So she takes off and ignites Roy. Now, that's kind of messed up because she's dating him, but she's drugged out of her mind, so she doesn't really know what's going on. So... Great book, Ten seconds. really interesting, and we're getting back to a cool storyline. Now, on top of that, it also has the ad for Catwoman taking over Enter the Queen, the timeline. Nice. And on top of that, we've got the Justice League const... Uh, Woo! Can't say the right word for it. <laughs> I don't, my vocabulary failed Fine. me on that cool. one. But DC presents Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 35, Loved for it. round five. Loved it. Constantine wasn't the right word. Nope. That was not at all right. Nope. Well, if it helps, you didn't say Constantine. You said Constantine. Is, yeah. <laughs> All right, Marvel's got to come with something. This is going to oh. be the deciding round. Yeah, Lucas. What do you got for us? Right I'm man. ready. And go. I'm presenting Death of Wolverine number four. I hope you can see that because that's the cover. If you don't, ha if you can't see it, look it up on Google because it's an awesome cover. Has uh, Wolverine bloody being carried away by death. So what happens in this issue? By the way, this is a four-part issue. It's really spectacular. It's a great read. Definitely recommend picking it up, especially when it comes out to trade paperback. There's a lot of extras in the back issues as well. So if you get the issues, individual issues, get them. They are going quick. So Wolverine tracks down Cornelius, who is behind the attack, uh, behind his hit. Uh, he tracks him down with these fake claws on him because I guess he wants to be protective of his real claws. Yeah. Uh, he finds out so that Cornelius has uh, become be like this right evil now. scientist and he wants to be remembered for doing something no, no, other than time. creating this, uh, uh, for interrupting you know, killer. Yeah. Uh, so he's trying to get these other people to nice. get the adamantium process going, but he needs extra. Wolverine's healing factor. Well, Hopefully Wolverine slices extra. his hand and shows that his healing factor is gone. And Cornelius, uh, Cornelius is like, uh, uh, okay, well, you're going to be dead then. He gets this other guy to try to kill him. Uh, Wolverine, you know, takes care of business, and he slashes the adamantium containment, and the, all the adamantium splatters all over him. And guess what? <laughs> when adamantium starts to cool, there's no break in it. Bye-bye, Wolverine. I love you. 
Rest in peace. Really? That was how he died? He died uh, how he lived. The death of Wolverine. He's presenting Wolverine being Sounds dead Sounds like a bad now. porno. So guys, in round five, DC has presented Red Hood and the Outlaws number 35, and Marvel has presented the death of Wolverine number four. Oh. Uh, so voting is open yeah. whenever it's open. Voting is oh, open now, yeah. so get your votes in. Either exclamation mark vote Marvel or exclamation mark vote DC. And remember, Lucas uh, needed you to Google stuff and work uh, and for your remember, information. Face well, it, it, is it shouldn't have been that night. way. Um, face poppies is But uh, night. Jennifer, I, I do have to say, I think there was supposed to be a penalty that round that you didn't no, enforce. No, because we, because uh, that's often happened that like people okay. will say stuff during, and he just yelled shut up, which wasn't really a <laughs> thing. And also, just because you guys yell penalty doesn't mean a penalty happens. Okay. So, yes. Uh, 19 seconds to get your votes in. 19 more seconds to get your votes in, guys. Is, is he still in the chat? <laughs> the guy. No, the other guy. No, he's not in his couch. We don't know. Face yeah. are killing That's me. it. Face poppies are killing me during Lucas's presentation. It was really fine. All right. What do we Yay, have? Marvel week. Marvel takes it. Marvel took the week. Marvel takes the week. Yeah. Get the thingy. Indeed. There you go. You can do it. Which concludes the X Mansion. Would you like to do this? I want to do it. How uh, how many weeks? You guys are in town only two weeks now. Yeah. If you take yeah. the next two weeks, you tie it up. All right, so we did it. What was the reaction like, guys, to uh, to Wolverine's death? Um, I'll tell you. I'm gonna stand because my it was leg is asleep. Sad. Uh, how did you take it? I, I th he went out in a heroic way. He saved he saved people's lives. Ouch. It's really so. beautiful. Really you know, way. people thought, you know, Death of Wolverine, oh, it's going to be a brawl between Sabretooth and Wolverine and, you know, type of thing. But if you want that, I would go back to the, not the previous, most recent uh, run of Wolverine, but the one before that, illustrated by, I want to say, Alan Davis. Is that right? But uh, that's a really good Wolverine Sabretooth story. All so right. Well, guys, that moves us into our next segment, which tonight is actually a bat signal. Because, Woo! as promised last week, we are giving out the very last of the Red Star shirts. And surely enough, uh, Greg was just mentioning it. So I will go grab them. We don't have every size left. Uh, we're, we're limited in what sizes we have, but we will happily give them away. Do, 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 do. I'm muting because I have. Uh, okay. Ow, my leg, so asleep. Uh, you have three shirts left. Face poppies, Wolverine is 5'3". Two. Just like this guy. Yep. What? You're five. Everybody, there's phone calls and bathroom breaks. What is yeah, going this, on this with this show? this episode is not yeah. a good episode. A really weird show. Let's just pretend like this didn't happen. <laughs> I'm going to my office. All of no, this show? Kidding. Can we just go home? You're not going to keep playing? That's all. What? You're not going to keep playing? I'm going to keep playing. My legs are asleep. Oh. Badly asleep. My circulation gets worse as I get older. You have so many punctuation comic related like wardrobe Good. and it's awesome. All right guys, it's well. It's too much. Wait, don't don't do it until he comes oh, back for continuity because okay. of the editing. Yeah. And before Lucas leaves, we got to do a outro with him in it. Okay. For editing. Yeah. And Sorry guys, this is a peak good peak behind the camera. Because uh, I've had three. We have of sleep. we have one that's actually viewer submitted through our YouTube. Oh. Yeah. So <coughs> yeah. I think I emailed it to myself. I'll have to dig for it. But. Uh, was it the one that uh, Jen emailed? I think. I think so. No, it was this last week. Then sit down. So. You gotta get going. I'm about to pass out. I'm about to pass out. I wasn't making fun of you. I just wanted to say. All right, guys. Well, we are giving away the last three. Red Star Makita t-shirts. Uh, and guys, these were incredibly limited. You can pretty much only win them through our show. 
uh, which is awesome. Yeah. So if you want one, we have three remaining. We have uh, an extra large. We have a extra extra large, and we have a where is it? Let me get a triple X. Extra extra large. All right. But they can be shrunk, so yeah, you can make, I, it, you I, can make it work. Yeah, I had one and it shrunk, and now I have a new one. Thanks, Matt. That's what he no said. Worries. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, but we're giving them away, so all you have to do is answer our little trivia questions, and you will win cool shirts. Uh -huh. um, this is not eligible for anybody who's in <laughs> Skype. <laughs> you guys have to sign out of Skype if you want to win. Uh, Eman Cave says, is the answer Batman? The answer is not Batman. <laughs> Now I'm going to ask a question where the answer is Batman. Don't tell him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, But if you, guys, if you guys want to win, you have to sign out of Skype. It's chat only. Okay. Uh, which also means you might want to refresh the page real quick right now so you guys can access the question quickly. Uh, but Wes says he has a great question, so I'm going to let right Wes lead it. it off. Let's wait like five seconds in case people actually did refresh their pages just so they've got time to buffer. Mm -hmm. So While we're waiting, who is Batman? It's actually uh, Tony Stark. Does oh, House of Secrets have a website that we could be pop popping up there? Don't. Uh, no. Yeah, they, they do. do have a website. Do they sell comics through the website? They do. They have a digital store. They oh, well, we need to be posting that in our bots. And I contacted Guru about that, but Guru's not here tonight. Well, so Guru doesn't I do bots anymore. Xander does them. Oh, I thought it was. I thought the old sponsor bot was a Guru bot. It's not a Moo bot. Well, we could create one. Well, we can create a Moo bot. I, I figured for next week we'd have it a little bit better, but uh, tonight. Everything's breaking. <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> everything is broken. Okay, so uh, in honor of uh, tonight's bat signal, the question I'm about to pose to you is, what is Martha Wayne, Bruce Wayne's mother's maiden name? Oh, Ooh, that's, that's a good one. It's a saucy one. Yeah, let's see. It's actually, it's a really cool answer, I too. would love it if it was The Stranger. Martha, The Stranger. Yeah, <laughs> not it. Good night, Edel Dev. Thank you for joining us. Edel Dev. So Rasputia, all it. you have to do is put in the name, um, put in your answer. <laughs> Sandy. Martha Sandy. It's Martha Batman. Yeah, that's it's it. It's Martha <laughs> Greg. Marth I love it. My favorite thing is that people guess when they have the power of the internet and the Googling <laughs> at their hand. You know, you Kane. Yes, Kane? that's right. It's Kamostri takes the win. Oh. It is Martha Kane, obviously named after Bob Kane. Tell C Monstry how he or she can w uh, can uh, collect on that prize there. Please send me an email, which is leet matt live one three three seven matt live at gmail dot com, and I need your address, your full shipping address. <laughs> you gotta I. love Martha Fokker Wayne. <laughs> yeah. And I like how I like how everyone Googled it at the same time, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, "It's Kane." Matt, Matt. What yes, was as Twin Galaxies Live has posted it. Please send me an email with your address there and which size you want. We have an extra large, an extra extra large, and an extra extra large, extra 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 large, one XL, two XL, and three XL. And put your um, name in the email so that he knows which one of the winners wanted what. Yes, yeah. and Sea Monster also please include the fact that you are the first winner of the night in case there's some issues with people wanting the same shirt. So yeah. we'll make sure that you get top priority because you won first. Okay. Uh, I got a question. Awesome. Lucas has a second question. Again, this is chat only. Yep. Brilliant. So there was a little bit of news that came out this morning. An actress was announced that she's going to be portraying Leslie Tom's Tompkins oh. in Gotham. But my question is, what that actress, she voiced a character in a Batman uh, animated film. What was that character? Hmm. Oh. Okay. And I have a question for the last one. Batman. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a character. Candy cane. So this actress who just got announced that she's going to be Leslie Tomskin, Tompkins. 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 Not Tompkins. Tomps um, okay, inter Internet Explorer says Ivy. No? Wait, are you saying the actress? Is it Morena yeah, Bacalaga? I'm, I'm asking what character has that actress played in a DC oh. Played in a... DC animated film. Okay. So the, um, the answer is a character. Lisa, Harley Quinn, <laughs> Superman, Catwoman. <laughs> Superman is, that's kind of not close. <laughs> it is kind of not close though. So it's, you know, <gasps> not bad. Batman. Uh, Talia. Oh yeah. 
Red Smasher has it. Oh, Red Smasher, you Red. win. Congratulations, Talia Red Smasher. Al you just won a shirt. Man, who said trolling wasn't good? Please send me an email at <laughs> elitematlive at gmail.com and let us know that you won second tonight along with your shirt size preference. Son of Batman, Cheetah, Supergirl. <laughs> I love I love people's Batman characters. Go. No. I have one for you. I Okay, oh, so sorry. Jennifer's got the third Jennifer's question. got it. This is our final bat signal for tonight. Yes. So it's, it's entirely up to Jennifer. Final bat signal. Why wouldn't you just ask him for the shirt sizes now in order so that, you know, so you don't have to deal with the fact that two people asked for the same one? Well, I mean, they could, but they didn't, nobody wanted to write it. No one wanted That's to write logic. their shirt size? That's too That's logic. logic. Giving too many things away. Make too much Okay. Sense. Batman used to keep Hunchback in his bat cave. It's true. What was his name? What? Batman's yeah. name? Yeah. Batman no. used to keep a hunchback in his Batcave. And it was an unresolved issue. He was just down there. Everyone took it for granted until Hush when he was killed. But that whole <laughs> e time he was down there Donkey doing Kong. stuff. <laughs> who was the hunchback who lived in Batman's Batcave and watched him undress and stuff? It's such a weird sentence. <laughs> the 12 Bench has it. <laughs> it is Harold. It was Harold. Harold the hunchback. It oh, but Internet Explorer has the full name and the 12 Banch has already won two of these shirts. Oh. So we're going to we're going to say Internet Explorer congratulations as the 12 Banch is saying it right there that uh, he's giving it to Internet Explorer as well because the 12 Banch is all about friendship. So Internet Explorer congratulations. You just won a limited edition Red Star Makita t-shirt. Yeah, you and do. if you could send me yeah. an email at leetmatlive at gmail.com with your preferred shirt size and the fact that you won Third, uh, I will get these shipped out this next week. We have another bat signal. We do. Here you go. Very good. We have another bat signal. This is uh, from Greg, so you can read that. <laughs> okay. He wants to. Okay, so Greg uh, says, so I really want to, uh, would love to give away four seat of. I think it's four set. Seat four of set? Wolverine four issues, set. four sets of uh, the Wolverine issues on Comixology if y'all want or not. No, we want. So we have four Yay! sets to give away? Four sets. Oh, that's what. Oh, that's my question. That's great. Ooh, Greg. Thank you, get sir. To, you get to ask a Thank question. You, yeah. you get question. to ask a question, and you get to ask a question. Sure, lead us off, Ben. Right. We, uh, we have four more giveaways tonight. <laughs> I have, Bonuses I have no for anybody who's joining us during the live experience. If you're joining us during the cut down on YouTube's Stanley's, Stanley's World, of Heroes. World of Heroes, you're missing out, so please be sure to join us for the live broadcast so you can win. But if you're here right now and it's live, you now have a chance to win not one, not two, not three, but four, mm -hmm. one of four sets of the Death of Wolverine on right. so Thank you, happened. Greg. That's very cool of you. Yes. Let's go ahead, Benny Boy. All right. So, while at San Diego Comic Fest this uh, past weekend, I ran some trivia. And I had a question that I asked and uh, discovered that I had missed something, and oh. I was schooled by one of the old school nerds, and so I'm gonna bring this to you. Oh, four Superman. issues, four issues. Sorry, it's just one question, four issues. Oh, one question, yeah. Four issues. Oh, okay, so one, one question. And you get the one full question. set. You get the full, get the full four set issue set. Four. Yeah, oh, I see. Okay, so Superman is susceptible to a few things. He's susceptible to red sun, wow. magic, and kryptonite, and one other thing. What is it? <laughs> Anybody. Anybody at all. What's the fourth thing? What's the fourth thing? <laughs> Red Sun. <laughs> Justin Wong. <laughs> magic and Kryptonite. What's, yep. what's the fourth thing? It is Justin Wong, Social the best injustice. Marvel versus Capcom player in, Lead the, is in the world. Lead is not correct. Love is not correct. Lead? Lead is not correct. Rave? Rave. Lois, <laughs> Lois is kind of beautiful. He's susceptible this might to be Lois. Too hard, cause I got, love. Like, we got love, Chi, farts, ask, blue kryptonite? <laughs> <laughs> if no one gets this, I have Air? a follow-up question. Hair. <laughs> Green magic farts. Oh, I knew that one. <laughs> that one's really bad for him. These are so good. This question was good just for the answers they yielded. Batman. Laser bursts. Batman, Batman, Batman is. is one of Superman's Batman. weaknesses. That's a good point, actually. Oh, Greg is calling. Oh. We have a caller. Go ahead, caller. Titanium, radiation, AIDS, deception, lead. Guys. Jace Hall, air. Jace Hall. Just Google it. No. I don't even know if it'll Mario. actually. Mario. I don't even know if it'll actually show up on Google because my answer guy didn't know it. 
Okay. Ninjas. Ninjas are great. I think you've uh, asked a very difficult question. It's a super difficult question. Zookeeper. Nope, already said Red Sun. Muhammad Ali. Ooh. Oh, that's a good Smart point. Our energy exhaustion. Doomsday, also a good point. DC executives. Oh, how about the movies that Warner Brothers make? Oh! Guys, I, I think the confusion with lead is that if you hit Superman with lead, the lead doesn't hurt Superman. No. You just can't you just see can't, through just can't see Superman. Through. We're looking for something that actually yeah. hurts Superman. You, you guys saying lead is his weakness is Racism. like... Racism! It's like this wall is my weakness because I can't see through see, it. See, thank you guys. It's Psionic not on effect. Google, but we were ensured that it's true by multiple people. By huge nerds. Huge yes. San Diego comic The hugest fans, nerds. The hugest of nerds. What, what was the answer? We might have to go to another question. We're going to have to go to another one. Yeah, I don't think there's I have another question. All right, so you, do you want to ask your question first? Or? So real quickly, Greg has uh, called to clarify four sets. It is four oh, sets. Is four so sets. this okay. is so four questions, and we'll have to okay. rapid fire them, guys. Well, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, so I'm out of here. So Bye. Well, wait, if you're leaving, then we got to do an outro <laughs> okay. real quick. The, so. the answer, the well, answer that you question. didn't know, it's Virus X. It showed up in two issues in like 1970 something. What's Virus X? Is? I have no idea what Virus X is. Makes Superman sick or sorry, useless today. It so sounds many, totally so made many, up. So many people got angry that I didn't have that in my answers. Virus X, everybody. All right, guys. Well, let's pretend that there's 30 seconds left on the clock. Lucas, you want to lead us in an outro? And that's the comic book show. Thanks for tuning in. We're here every Wednesday from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Check out our little tiny itty bitty episodes All on right. Stanley's Roll of Heroes. Mm -hmm. Comes up on Mondays. See you next time. It's very true. Peace. The end. Need any outro noise? noise. That was just a bit of movie magic. Just, just, uh, just kidding, they, guys. Just kidding. Just it. kidding. That's not a real outro. Yeah, we had to do that. We're just for doing Lucas. that for editing purposes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Lucas, thank you so much for joining us, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Drive safe. Drive safe. Uh, we're still, we're did still you want here. any comics? What? Did you want any comics? No, I don't. Uh, Yoink. Deuterino. Yes. Uh, comics oh, best happened last say. weekend. I gotta go get some. Uh, Call me if you ever stressed. Okay. We should talk about this. So they didn't. They didn't fully announce it. Um, but it will be. It will be completely announced and live next year. And it's awesome, and you should definitely go. We need it questions. So great. Yes. All, All right, guys. We gotta okay. we gotta get through them quick. So yeah, okay. we got now we got four of them to give away. No, we got three so more. Three. Oh, Wait, we'll go. someone we'll got someone answered the first one. No, so, so four, 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 four of them. Yes. Go okay. go go go. All right. So as you all know, Dead Man, big fan, awesome character. His name is Boston Brand. Uh, he and his brother were born on a train, and his parents named both of them after uh, United States cities. His name was Boston. His brother, his twin brother, at the same time, was named what? His name was what? No, it wasn't <laughs> what. I see what you did there, though. What's little, his name? A little who's on first action. <laughs> <laughs> Boston Brand. Justin Wong. His it's not brother's Justin name. Wong. Twin, and I say this, too, because he was actually a really big <laughs> part. <laughs> Philadelphia was kind of But you know, his name is actually pretty ridiculous, so Philadelphia is pretty like Dallas. on par with it. Pizza. Nope, keep going. You guys, you guys have yeah, Cleveland. Cleveland! There you yeah, go. Cleveland. Congratulations. There it is. You, you don't win because this is not live. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is how you guys uh, redeem, guys. Arizona. We need your email address, so send your email address oh. to... LeetMattLive at gmail.com. 1337. Send me seven. your email address. Shukaka. And he will forward it to the appropriate benefactor. And that mm -hmm. is Greg Barbie. Yes. Yes. Thank you to Greg for being awesome. We need more questions. All right, guys. Firing them off real quick. There was an awesome trailer that was revealed today in which Tony Stark donned a, donned a new set of armor. What's it traditionally called? I'll What's the set of armor that he's wearing? I'd like to win this. Can I say it? No. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. That one's no, it's a good, it's a nice easy one. Does only have yes, it is. Because we, we, we have 25 more minutes to do the show. No, and that's, we fair. Out. that's fair. That's fair. need your it's email. A nice, it's a good one. I think it's an easy one. There it is. Hulkbuster. Hulk Hulk Buster. Yeah. Hulk Tag 7, congratulations. It is indeed called the Hulkbuster suit. Please send me an email with your username and uh, the fact that you won a Death of Wolverine set to leapmatlive at gmail.com. More questions? Awesome. Okay, Jennifer, uh, question? We got two more to go. Jennifer, got. Oh, geez. Uh, okay. You're a winner. Oh, you know what? 
Hopefully you watch the comic book show every week because the question is, who is the newest character announced for Infinite Crisis? Uh, Powdered Toast Man. Nope. That would be great. That's not That's it. True. Telebro. Telebro. Telebro has won a set. Telebro, you, you win a set. Last question. Make it a good one. Uh, oh. Telebro, you know what to do. Email Matt. I think this is a good question. Okay, so out of all the actors in, you know, plus 60 plus years, who is the one actor who has portrayed Batman more than any other actor ever? I know. Ooh. That's a good one, right? Ooh. Yeah. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> so sad. Wait, Bruce Wayne is Batman? No, it's Tony Stark. Why don't anyone listen to me? <laughs> it's me, guys. The one actor. It's me, Jen. The one actor who has played Batman more times than any other, Internet any other actor. Internet says Adam West. Nope. 12 Banshee says Kevin Conroy. And it's to the Banshee boy. Ah, well done. Kevin Banshee. Conroy has played Batman more times collectively than every single other actor put together. He also went to Juilliard. What? And he went to Juvie. Get off, uh, get off of that Conroy dick. All right. Yeah. No, no, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. <laughs> okay. So the answer is Virus X. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on over to thank you to everyone who participated. Congratulations to the winners. Thank you to Greg for donating four sets of the Wolverines. <laughs> I don't know why I the did what? that. What? I called them the Wolverines. Okay. Um, and uh, that moves us into our next segment, which is the Watchtower. Nope. The, in the Infinity. It's the Infinity Gauntlet. Yes. <laughs> This is the segment where uh, you guys give a suggestion on which uh, characters you'd like to see in a fight, and we discuss on who would win in a theoretical and very physical match of uh, superpowers. So throw them out, and we'll uh, discuss. But we should probably do the one for, uh, I'm yes. I'm working on loading it up right so now. So you guys, we just want to let you guys know that uh, we notice that some of the suggestions for Infinity Gauntlet come in over the comments on our YouTube, uh, on the Stanley World of Heroes. Yeah, which is cool. YouTube posting of our episodes, mm -hmm. which is very awesome. We have an official way of finding them out right now. Well, Jordicar has suggested Hawkeye versus Bullseye, hashtag vagina punch. So <laughs> Jordicar <laughs> wants to know who you guys think would win in a fight, Hawkeye versus Bullseye. I know we've done it before, but let's do it again. Why not? Hawkeye versus, wait. Hawkeye, Hawkeye versus, versus Bullseye. Bullseye. Okay, and uh, can you send the screen grab of that to John Holland? The too? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah, okay, what well, do you guys think? Hawkeye. Uh, Hawkeye is traditionally an archer, but he also occasionally uses firearms, whereas Bullseye uh, is talented in anything that's anything. projectile based. Anything, yeah. Uh, Bullseye is also not a hero. No. My vote's going for Bullseye on this one. Yeah, I mean, too. just not an old lady in an airplane flicking a peanut into her mouth. I remember that. That was a terrible and he was movie. Irish. The other, well, he's Irish, damn it. Uh, well, I think the other thing is, is, is Hawkeye is tactically and, like, he's military trained, and Bullseye, uh, you know, he's just kind of a dude who throws shit really well. Um, more from YouTube. We have one from Hattrick Gaming wait, 35. Wait, did you guys even resolve that one? Yeah, we did. We all, we all voted Bullseye. Oh, Bullseye, okay. Bullseye. So, yes. Uh, we have another one from Hattrick Gaming 35 who asks Can Stan Lee ever come to Australia? Maybe. And then he follows that up by saying, can you please do Superman versus Shazam? Aha. Well, you could actually watch the movie. <laughs> Superman versus Shazam. Well, here's, yeah. so here's a, so for people who may not know, because you're like, who could beat Superman? Nur. Shazam is powered by magic, which, which is why that Superman's is a very. not a fan of. Right, which is why that's a very, very Plus good matchup. Only yeah. infected with virus X. <laughs> sure. And there's actually an animated feature uh, that had, have uh, different animated shorts, and it's called uh, Batman versus Shazam. Nope, Superman versus Shazam. Uh, Superman versus, yes. thank you. Superman versus Shazam. But, weirdly enough, Batman isn't in it. It's weird, right? <laughs> there is a sweet cartoon. So what do you guys think? Superman, uh, Shazam. Uh, Superman. I, I think Superman every time, and I'll tell you why. Even though magic is a big weakness, uh, Superman's not like a, a tiny little child. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> Billy Batson, his name is Billy. He doesn't even go by Bill. So, man up, Bill, and then you can take on the Man of Steel, not the Boy of Steel. Do we get a consensus from these fellas, too, on this side? What do you think? Yep. <laughs> we're talking DC here. I have no idea what we're talking about. Matt? 
Yeah. Right? I think uh, I think it would be an interesting fight, but I think yeah. at the end of the day, Superman has more experience and He's a grown ass man. <laughs> and he's he's at least on the same level as Shazam. Just having the magic work against Superman wouldn't be enough to tip nah. the scales. So. Uh, I'm going to chime in here. And I'm going to say uh, Shazam. Well, you could be wrong. I'll tell you why. If this is truly a fight to the death, Superman, I think, would be more steadfast in his not killing principle. And uh, whereas I'm sure Billy Batson's got lots of morals, good morals for a 10 year old boy standards, he would probably uh, not be as steely in his resolve not to kill when his life is on the line against Superman. So Shazam doesn't care. He bailed on a mission to get a hot dog. That was in this week's episode of, or issue of Justice League. <laughs> hot dogs so. are good. So yeah, my hungry. vote actually goes to Shazam. In a fight to the death, I think it would be Shazam. Yeah. Sure. Well, there's uh, just a few more comments that I want to bring more. in very quickly. Captain Dope says, the fuck is this? This is the comic book show on Twin Galaxies <laughs> Live. Uh, we're here every Wednesday from seven, from 9 until 11 p.m. Uh, that was really informative. He really wanted to know. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, well, now you know. Uh, Blazing Ninja Adam says, I like the Green Lantern film. Okay. Uh, good for you. Opinions are great. Yes, we... We read your opinion. We should add a segment where we read the comments from Oh my last god, that's such a comment on the comments? Oh my god, comment on the comments! Comment yeah! Comments. That's, I love it. I okay. love it. Yeah. <laughs> Telebro suggests Shazam versus Hot Dog. I think Hot Dog, hot dog wins. Hot Dog wins. <laughs> hot Dog wins. Uh, I'm going to put one out there. Uh, Data God versus Shoveling the Kitchen Out at 4 a.m. in Antarctica. Ooh. Guys, hashtag blessed. Don't live in Antarctica. Yeah. Wait a second. It's true. Everyone here uh, is pointing out a flaw in my logic. Superman totally lobotomized. He laser lobotomized Shazam he in did. Injustice. Because he's so a man. So you are right. Because men lobotomize people. But that's also an alternate universe. It is. Yeah. You're an alternate universe. Yeah. All right, so what do you say? Shall we? No, no, more Infinity well, the, Gauntlet? The, the last one that I saw that it, a lot of people have asked for it, uh, Deathstroke versus Deadpool. Okay. Oh. I think we should roll with that one. I, I'm sorry, uh, I, it scrolled by quickly. I don't know who the user was. But the suggestion was Deathstroke versus Deadpool. They are a ripoff of each other, except... Slade and Wade Wilson. Yes, except uh, when we always do Deadpool, like, he he's wins. invincible... He's not invincible. Pretty much. He's indestructible. He's indestructible. It's fourth wall. He's very funny. Creative. I don't know. I you know. What my, do you think? My money's on Deathstroke for this. How, please tell me why. I want to be. I, I know that Deadpool has the whole healing factor thing or whatever. Yes. He got blown up by a nuclear bomb. But Deathstroke doesn't have any qualms at all. And I, I know that Death. Deadpool's like, oh, he's so amazing or whatever. Deathstroke wouldn't feel bad at all about cutting his head off, putting it in a box, and shoving it to the bottom of the ocean. Okay. Now, that might not kill Deadpool, but I'm pretty sure that means Deathstroke wins the fight. In incapacitated. And I think Deadpool would think, haha, this is funny, why is your name the same as mine? Slade would have already ended it by then. Right. So, my money's on Deathstroke for this one. Okay. Hmm. Just because I'm sick of saying Deadpool, I'm going to agree with you, Matt. Deathstroke, you win, bud. You win. Ben Dunn is an alternate universe. Ben is confirmed God. <laughs> Whoa, we got a situation going on in the Skype. What? Oh, he's back. You're going to have to mute yourself. Gentlemen Gamer, Deadpool did kill the entire Marvel Universe, but not in primary continuity. Yeah. Yeah. In a spinoff. Primary continuity, bitches. Um, well, guys, I think that will close out this week's Infinity Gauntlet, but yeah. please send us your Infinity Gauntlet requests through our Facebook or through our YouTube comments, and yeah. if you post interesting YouTube comments, we might read them on the show. And answer your oh, questions. This show is so amazing. <laughs> well, this yep. is actually the perfect time for uh, this kind of thing. Because it we're is. Move into the Watchtower, where this is a general discussion segment where you guys ask us anything you want, and we'll tell you anything we want. Guys, yes. I got a new tattoo. All right. Yeah. I think I'll he, show you my new tattoo. He took, you all nerds. He took my prompt a little too literally, but... No. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. You can see it. Yep. Now, uh, we might... We're getting a lot of white noise, unfortunately, <laughs> through your <laughs> Skype. So you might have to switch to push okay. to talk. Done. That would save the right. problem. I mean, that would save us... Uh, that would solve the problem. So if you can... 
do that or like yeah. mute uh, when you're not talking and unmute when you are talking, that would really help out because we're getting like a very squealy whine in the background. <laughs> in I get it. It's nice. Oh, that's a cool tattoo. I don't know why. Guys, doing. what is it? Can you answer what it is? Do you know what it is? It's not pudding. It's pudding. <laughs> so Santa Klingon wants to know what your email address is. That uh, should have been one of the questions for the... <laughs> <laughs> what is my email address? <laughs> What's my email? Uh, uh, my, my email address is leet matt live 1337 matt live at gmail.com so if you send me your email address to that email address then i'll be able to get those to you yes and it's being reposted in the chat i love how many people are still supporting wind chatter by the way hell yeah uh Reppin, <laughs> it is it is the Orin. Uh, no so it's eolus's necklace from hercules the legendary journeys it's <laughs> The Orin spelled A U Y R N. What a dumb way to Orin. spell anything. Orin. Dumb. Yeah. You spell Eolus I O U L A S. As Ouroboros. All right. So questions, guys. What do you What do you guys? Uh, they were for? people were talking earlier. Is Hulk going to move towards Guardians of the Galaxy? Is that something uh, you heard? I I heard somewhere that the Hulk is going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, no, I actually did hear that. Um, the reason for it is that it's probably going to be a tie-in to Planet Hulk. Oh. Uh, because that's one. Yeah, of that's, no, no. that's a rumor of it being. Joss, one of Joss those. really shot that down because he's yeah, like, no, he said he said that that means that we'd never ever see Mark Ruffalo, ever. Yeah, but. But he said no. So you don't think Mark Ruffalo is going to join the cast of Guardians of the Galaxy? I don't think Mark Ruffalo will. Without I think Tony Stark, or RBJ, will though, because he's in the comics. I like the uh, yeah, Lucas here. Somebody Jason has to. Jason Momoa, <laughs> Aquaman. Jason Momoa Ooh, came out with a quote. <laughs> he's finally <laughs> actually talking <laughs> about <laughs> Aquaman. Did you see his his, his audition to play? I didn't. The Dothraki. Really random. He was he did a he did a, a, a traditional Maori war dance. It was awesome. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Any Ant-Man news? Uh, no, not really. The, the well, actually, the photos came out. And actually, there's a little bit of news uh, going around that uh, Paul Rudd and Adam, the, the writer of the Will Ferrell movies, um, oh, McKay, oh. Adam McKay, Adam McKay, uh, uh, rewrote uh, Edgar Wright's script. Oh, well, uh, that seems like fun. A lot of dialogue, which a lot of people are split on, but yeah. they're really confident with the script and Marvel seems to be really behind it. Are you, what are your feelings? Are you, are you I don't okay? like it. I don't like it. Um, I mean, Edgar Wright is an excellent writer. Yeah. Um, well, they said they didn't change everything. They, they said there's still a lot of what Edgar, uh, yeah, but it's still like, I don't, I don't want to see anchor, anchor man three ant man. <laughs> I respect what you tried to do. I, I, I see what <laughs> it was there. Anchor <laughs> Man. I want to see Ant Man. There Re we go. Really quickly, it looks like Buzzkill and Static Klingon are both taking off. Good night, guys. Thank you guys so much, and congratulations, Static Klingon. Uh, be sure to tune in on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, we got Yes, it. be sure to tune in on Saturday for the saving throw taking saving over. Saving throw for take over. Extra live. Extra live. Yes. I was at Walker Stalker Walker Con Stalker. this weekend. Are you guys affiliated with the comic Wait. guys? Uh, from AMC, the comic book man. We are not affiliated with them, but we like the title of their show. Uh, they have a booth at Kamikaze this year. Oh, cool. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna get in there. Yep. Walker Stalker. Uh, no truth to the rumor that the Winchester groupies are known as the Winchesties. Winchesties. <laughs> so Winchesties. good. Winchesties. Can we please just have like an like an annual show or something? For the <gasps> let's do like a series finale show for the series finale, uh, whenever that is, it. Jennifer. We had that. Like no, for the for Supernatural, the series finale, oh. like so when it happens. Seven years. Yeah, in seven years when Dean is eighty-two. Uh, Ragtag asks, "Who do you want to play Miss Marvel?" Which one? The Carol Danvers? Um, I don't know. I'm, Who's I'm, Carol Danvers? Yeah, that was fun. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm not really attached to. Kitty Sackoff. Kit, yeah, sure. Too old. Whatever. Too old. Love her. Too old. Well, she loves you too. I know. She doesn't love you. Oh. 
<laughs> See what you mean. I'm down. How does Aquaman win over the audience? I demand theories. Uh, he's already. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk about this one for just a second. He's already doing it. Yeah. Uh, Jason so. Momoa came out with the first actual quote and in interview about Aquaman this past week, uh, saying that he is very proud to be a brown superhero. Um, yeah. He's Polynesian, and the water gods are very important to them. He, yeah. he, they consider water as being the most important part of life. Wow. So he feels super honored to not only play a comic book character that people look up to and that, that is an iconic role, but also something that's so meaningful to him. That's a pretty good way to start to win people over already. Like, yeah. I'm on board with that. Yeah. I, I'm down with this guy playing Arthur Curry. I think this is going to be great. So. Yeah. I, I'm more and more excited about it. I think he played it incredibly well, just staying, you know, soft-spoken and quiet as sure. the rumors were floating around, and then finally coming out and confirming, but very quietly confirming, and then coming out with a statement like that. He's already doing awesome, and DC has been doing a better and better job of making Aquaman look good yeah. um, across all of their mediums, making him an assassin character in the uh, Infinite Crisis game, making him stronger and stronger, and focusing the animated series on him for the Justice League Throne of Atlantis film. And, so and, and when the New 52 started, the, the book by Jeff Johns was like, the first couple yeah. of arcs were so good. Um, I'll say that I think DC missed the mark in casting. It should have been Adrian Grenier from Entourage. But, yes, because he did it once before. As Aquaman. Yeah, but you have to be a good actor <laughs> to do that stuff. I mean, he is a good actor. He acted like a good actor in Entourage. Oh, I'm sorry. He acted as castable in Entourage. Mm. Uh, love you, Adrian. Know you watch the show. Big fan. <laughs> Huge fan. Walker Soccer Con. Uh, you think he's gonna groot it? What does that mean? I mean, I don't know. I like, I like the way that sounds. Oh, cool. SD Zero. Not, not so much a fan of, uh, <laughs> of Aquaman there. Well, he doesn't like you either. When do you think we will see the Red Skull again in the MCU? Uh, a yeah. while. Hard H on that one. Don't think it died. Don't think so. You I think, think we'll see him in a flashback in uh, Avenger? Or not, maybe. sorry, not Avengers. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Hugo Weaving separated himself, right? Yeah, I mean, it might, if we do get it, it's not Hugo Weaving. Yeah, I think, I think that if and when it does happen, it's going to be so far from now that we'll be ready for like a new interpretation well, by I a mean, different actor. I it's going to be someone in a mask, so it doesn't even matter. Well, he was really good. He's but really it's, I mean, it doesn't even have to look like. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. I like uh, Greg's comment. So when Katie Sackoff neuters her male cats or dogs, is it the paradigm of redundancy? Yes. We, we're not going to use the Greg, last minute of the show. I can't wait to see you on nope. Saturday from 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. Sunday. Yes, and this is the. <laughs> no, this is the this is the outro that we're not going to use. So uh, I'll do it. Can you hear me over there? Fuck yeah. it up. Okay. We can hear you. We can hear oh, you. Okay, okay, I found his right camera. I just had one quick question. What's up? Your guys' opinion, as far as uh, Dawn of Justice uh -huh. and uh, Justice League, who do you, as far as guys, a comparison with the... Uh, 20 Avengers, seconds. Uh, what do you think is going to, um, I would say, overall dominate the box office? Between... Between Batman what? and Superman is going to win it, and the reason why is because everybody wants to see Batman and Superman in a movie together. Yep. Even if it's bad, it's still going to make more money at the box office than it's, Avengers 2. We've already seen it. It's great seeing you guys. Have a good night. I love you.